So everybody's like, you know, vying for playoff positions now. It's getting, you know, we winding down kind of, you know what I mean? Who would y'all want to play? The Grizzlies, Nuggets, you know what I mean? Kings. Mm -hmm. Like, what matchup, what team do you think y'all match up the best with? Grizzlies. Yeah, okay. Grizzlies. That's, and that's I want, yeah, uh, I need that rematch. I love hearing that. A lot of people that. said they want the Grizzlies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like, you know, that's a team to beat. Like, you know, with in that, in that playoff environment, they're, they're young and they're, they're active. And then you got stars like Ja and Jaren. Who are growing to be great leaders as well. I mean, and we just match up pretty well. Is Dylan Brooks like Bobby Portis? Like where he's you just kind of hear yeah, him the whole game? I can see that. I feel like we played them so much and it's like you kind of don't notice because you you play them so much. It tunes like, out yeah. a little. Yeah. Okay. So how does you know regular season basketball compare to playoff basketball? It seems like it's two completely different worlds. Yeah. I gotta face this team four to seven yeah. times yeah. now. I'm tired of looking at these dudes. These dudes know my moves. I know their moves. Different. So for you, just what are those differences like? I was that's crazy because I was on the way here. I was just telling my friends that like how like every game is a different type of scout or coverage or whatever it, it, it like whatever they're trying to throw out there to, for it to be different. It's just like. You got to try and stop it, but you're playing the same team four times, so it's just like, uh -huh. how can, how much more can we be different? Right, 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 right. And you know, it's always competitive, like you said before. The scout is like the right hand, and um, it's like something that I would say, as for players, you know, playing against the same teams and stuff like that. Like as your years go on, you start to understand and get accustomed to what that player is going to do. Like you might, oh, he's going to go right every time. You know, mm -hmm. just you know, playing them uh, so many times, and uh, but the atmosphere. Playoff atmosphere. I was in my first playoffs last year. Playoff atmosphere is crazy. Like it's like nothing, especially in Memphis. Yeah, playoffs, like, yeah. That's, a, that's a dangerous spot to play in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel on court? Like the physicality and whatnot. You know, people talk you, about how that you know ramps up a lot. You yeah. feel me? You can. Mm -hmm. It feels different after the game. Like yo, we was in a war. You yeah. feel me? Wrestled. That's because everybody is putting it on the line. Like it's yeah. winner go home. So yeah, everybody's playing. In their head off. Do you feel like officiating and whistles are different? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The whole more. Fans play to see the, to the game, so you know, kind of, or the players, I should say. So you kind of gotta let some things go, and you know, some things might not. But uh, for the most part, it's like it's completely different. Huh. Like the whole game is completely different. So when you look at the Western Conference this year, for me, it seems like. This is like the craziest I've seen. Like you could lose a couple games, go from a four seed to literally out the playoffs. Just from team to team, and even looking at the Suns now with KD, is this the toughest Western Conference that you've seen during your time in the league? Yeah, I would say so. For one, you, I've never seen Kevin Durant in the Western Conference. <laughs> he played against him in the Western <laughs> Conference. And then, like, you know, I think a couple teams just got even better. Uh, and then, uh, you know, everybody's so close, you kind of have to win. Mm. It's, it's, it's crucial to win, especially right now in this – a 19 game, 20 game stretch. I mean, it's crucial. Everybody's trying to get in home court advantage or, you know, trying to get in without having to play in the plan because, you know, yeah. playing in the plan and then you having to lose is like, we were this close. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of ways to look at it. I mean, for us, I feel as though the way we, we played in the plan, it was kind of like a growth a growth thing. And then now this year, we're not trying to, trying to be in the plan, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's definitely a tough, tough, tough uh, season for every team in the West this year. Does it feel like it's two seasons before All Star and after All Star? Like it kind of changes a little bit after All Star, All Star. Yeah, and then I would say for just for like a body standpoint, you just you know you feel back, you feel you feel back like you were in the beginning of a new season. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for that that for one, and then on top of your head, it's also it's like dang, like we just played a whole season. It's almost we only got twenty games left. It's <laughs> like, bro, where did the season go? Like I want more games. Like <laughs> really? yeah, it's like it's it's. I mean, for me at least, I mean. Yeah. It's, it's crazy.